What's up future Nurskis? I hope you're all having a beautiful day and in this video I have gathered the top 10 key points you must know about CAST nursing care. So let's get started. Number 1. CAST are used to mobilize a fracture and to promote healing. Number 2. CAST made out of plaster take about 24 hours to dry and 48 hours for the weight bearing ones and cast made out of fiberglass which are quicker to dry take only about 30 minutes and 16 minutes for the weight bearing ones number three the client with fiberglass cast may report sensations of heat as it dries out and you want to teach that this is normal number four the extremity that is covered with a cast should be elevated above the heart for the first 24 up to 48 hours. Number 5. Priority assessment of a patient with a cast is the neurovascular status of the affected extremity. Assess for the six P's and they are pain, pallor, pulse, paresthesia, paralysis, and polar, meaning temperature, and notify the healthcare provider immediately for any findings that suggest compartment syndrome. Number 6. If pulses can't be palpable, use a Doppler ultrasound device first, and if no pulses are found after that, immediately contact the healthcare provider. Number 7. Prevent the development of a foot drop of the casted leg by supporting the foot with a 90 degree angle flexion. Number 8. If a client has a hip spike cast, avoid gas forming foods to help prevent abdominal distension. Gas forming foods are apples, artichokes, barley, beans, bran, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, celery, figs, melons, milk, nuts, onions, radishes, soybeans, wheat, and yeast. Number 9. Teach the client about cast care, such as not inserting anything under the cast, handling the newly applied wet plaster cast with the palms instead of the fingers to prevent deformities, keeping the cast clean and dry, or using a hair dryer only on cool setting to dry a plaster cast or to relieve itching, and applying mole skin to the edges or pedaling the cast to protect the skin and to smooth out around the cast to prevent crumbling of the cast materials. Number 10. After the cast removal, the dry peeling skin will heal in a few days with normal cleaning. Alright, thank you so much for watching. So to get the most out of this, I encourage you to watch this video more than once. It's also good to re-watch this mini lesson as an intro or summary or before or after a lecture or a reading session. And more importantly, go write out the top 10 key things for yourself. Go take a picture of it and send it to my email at rapsnursingnotes at gmail.com and I'll post it on my Instagram at rapsnursingnotes. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much again for all you great future nurses who decided to learn with me. And so if you found this beneficial in any way, shape, or form, please share this video with your classmates. Like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And trust me, you get an A on your next nursing exam.